Samsung isn't known for being forthcoming with its software updates, but the company has taken a different approach with Marshmallow by opening a public beta for customers to test. After a few days with the update, what's new and how does it impact on the Galaxy S6? I'm Nira for Android Authority, and you're watching our Galaxy S6 Marshmallow run through, so let's get right into it. Like most phones, I found the Galaxy S6 to be great at launch, before it began to slow and show signs of struggling and lag after just a few months. The biggest difference with the Marshmallow update has to be the performance, with the handset appearing to be much smoother than it was running Lollipop at launch. Naturally though, the performance may change after a while of use, but the initial experience is definitely positive. Throughout the update, Samsung seems to have made an attempt to adopt material design, with varying degrees of success. While the flatter icons and a consistent UI language between third party, Google and Samsung apps are definitely impressive, there are some changes that are quite garish and completely unnecessary. As a long time Galaxy user, the two biggest changes are also my pet hates with this update. The first is that the UI is now overly white, even things like the notification menu, which were absolutely fine on Lollipop. The second is that Samsung has brought back the dreaded squircles, and the white background to the icons on the home screen reminds me of early versions of Huawei's EMUI. It's completely unnecessary, and to be honest, it looks downright ugly. The notification menu has also had some welcome improvements, not least with Samsung allowing you to swipe down to access all the quick settings. You can also scroll the initial quick settings bar like you could in Lollipop, so this should appease most users. At the bottom of the notification dropdown is a shortcut to notification settings, where you can now turn off or turn on notifications for individual apps. It's not all great though, as you can't remove Quick Connect, and the wasted space does get quite annoying. The Marshmallow update also signals a closer partnership between Google and Samsung, and this has likely been one of the factors behind the updated UX. One of the biggest new features in the update is now on tap which works to bring information to your fingertips that is related to whatever's on the display at the time. From first use, now on tap certainly works well enough, and it's nice to see that Samsung hasn't tried to replace it with some creation of its own, like it has done with other Google services. The camera has also been updated in Marshmallow, and finally, you can now shoot in raw format using a Galaxy S6. In the latest Android 5.1.1 update, the raw option was greyed out, so it's good to see that Samsung has finally enabled a feature that many people have asked for. Alongside the changes in the camera, the Marshmallow update also brings with it Doze Mode, which is meant to offer significant standby time improvements. From the past few days, I can safely say that while it does improve the standby time, it's not to the level of something like the Nexus 6P, and you can probably expect two to three st days standby time from a single charge of the Galaxy S6. And there you have it guys, a really quick run through of 10 features, seven good and three not so good of Samsung's upcoming Marshmallow update for the Galaxy S6. It's not perfect, which UX is after all, but the positives do outweigh the not so good bits. And overall, the Galaxy S6 is a better device running Marshmallow than it was running Lollipop. What do you think of the Marshmallow update? And do you want it on your Galaxy S6? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below guys and give us a thumbs up if you like the update or this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out all the awesome content from my colleagues on the right. Stay tuned to androidauthority.com for more on the latest Android news, reviews and apps, as we are your source for all things Android.